I I offer my very sincerest gratitude to all of you for so kindly coming to be with us this evening to celebrate the appearance of Lord Sri Nityananda Prabhu. Recently, I was in Calcutta and found a great treasure. There is a library of over 3,000 very rare, precious manuscripts. Many of them originals by our Acharyas. That was just given to the Bhaktivedanta Research Center. One very dear friend and exalted Vaishnav, Srila Bodhaya Maharaj, who is the successor of Prabhupada's godmother, Bhakti Pramod Puri Maharaj, in a very magnanimous gesture, he had what devotees tried to get for years and years and couldn't was given to him, and then he gave it to our devotees. So I was looking through some of the manuscripts. There was notebooks by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, diaries by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur that have never been published, that hardly anyone has ever seen. There was also some original notebooks by Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur in his own personal handwriting. I was looking through one in particular. Babies should be brought to the room where the mothers have a closed circuit TV, please. saw page after page of songs and prayers which were the original compositions of Thakur Bhakti Vinod. Gorarti, which we sing every evening. Radha Krishna Arti. And you know it's the originals because Sometimes he'd have verse one, verse two, verse three, then he'd have a line going to the top of the page or the bottom and insert a verse. And one of the songs that I was so blessed to see, the original composition one, I'd like to sing for you this evening. Vayaski Prabhu. It's like a little baby child. 
child crying in front of a eloquent poet. Krishna 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 Nadia ko drume nitya nanda maha Aparada sunya ho ye lo ho krishna naam Aparada sunya ho ye lo ho krishna naam Krishna Mata Krishna Pita Krishna Tana Pra Krishna Mata Krishna Pita Krishna Tana Pra Nadia Kodru me Nityananda Mahajan Nadia Kodru me Nityananda Mahajan Krishna Krishna Rasam Sara Koro Chadi Anacha Krishna Rasam Sara Koro Chadi Anacha Krishna 
Nadia Kutri Nityananda Mahajan Nadia Kutri Nityananda Mahajan Chain <laughs> Jivodaya Krishna Nam Sarva Dharma Sa Jivodaya Krishna Nam Sarva Dharma Sa Nadiya Kodru Nenitya Nanda Mahajan Nadia Kodru Nenitya Nanda Mahajan Nadia Kodru Nenitya Nanda Mahajan Bhaya Krishna Bacho Krishna Kodru Krishna Siksha Krishna Mata Krishna Pita Krishna Dhamma Pran Jiva Doya Krishna Nam Sarva Dharma Sai Nadiya Kodru Nenitya Nanda Mahajan Nadiya Kodru Nenitya Nanda Mahajan Nadiya Kodru Nenitya Nanda Mahajan Aparada Sunya Hoye Kloye Ho Krishna Nam Aparada Sunya Hoye Loho Krishna Nam Krishna Mata Krishna Pita Krishna Dhamma Pran Krishna Mata Krishna Pita Krishna Dhamma Krishna Mata Krishna Pita Krishna Dhamma Pran Jiva Doya Krishna Nam Sarva Dharma Krishna Doya Krishna Nam Jiva Doya Krishna Nam Sarva Dharma Nadiya Kodru Nenityananda Mahajan Nadiya Kodru Nenityananda Mahajan In the land of Nadia, on the island of Godrum, the magnanimous Lord Nityananda has opened up the marketplace of the holy name.
meant for the deliverance of all fallen souls. O people of faith, O people of faith, by the order of Lord Goranga, O brothers, I beg this one request. Chant Krishna, worship Krishna, and follow Krishna's instructions. Being careful to remain free of offenses, just take the holy name of Krishna. Krishna is your mother. Krishna is your father. And Krishna is the treasure of your life. Giving up all improper behavior, carry on with your worldly duties only in relation to Krishna. The showing of compassion to all fallen souls by loudly chanting the holy name of Krishna is the essence of all forms of religion. Thank you for tolerating my broken words, Vyaski Prabhu. <laughs> you are too humble. Thank you. When I was holding this original composition of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, just an old notebook, so old that the paper was filled with tiny little holes. Each page had hundreds and hundreds of tiny holes from either ants or worms eating it away almost a hundred years old. I've seen Bhaktivinoda's writing with little cross outs. <laughs> and he would write on the lines and then he would think of something and put a line and put it up vertically in the margin. It was just touching, I felt so immensely purified. But of course, the sound vibration of these prayers and these songs are immortal. In the song we have sung today, he is expressing his deep gratitude and appreciation for the mercy of Lord Nityananda Prabhu. Today, being Nityananda Trayodasi, the appearance day of Sri Nityananda Prabhu, we'd like to be, speak something in the spirit of the song of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Rajendra Nandana Jay Sachi Shuta Hoilo say Balarama Hoilo Nithai. In this age of Kali Yuga, Lord Krishna appears as Lord Chaitanya, and Sri Balarama appears as Lord Nityananda Prabhu. Harama Karuna Pahundu Ichan. Nithai Chandra. These two brothers are supremely merciful, unlimitedly kind, because they are giving the, they are giving freely to everyone and anyone without discrimination the most intimate revelations of love of God, the very perfection and essence of every spiritual path. And they are doing it in such an accessible and simple way. All that is required is our faith, our willingness, to live a life of servitude with humility 
and in that spirit to chant the holy names. Today, in mourning His Holiness Devamrita Swami Maharaj, presented a, a brilliant, dramatic class on Lord Nityananda and Lord Chaitanya's intimate loving relationship of how Lord Nityananda would disobey Lord Chaitanya, Lord Chaitanya would chastise and criticize Lord Nityananda, all in the feeling of ecstatic love. Because spiritual love is the whole perfection of the love of the soul and the various emotions that we experience in love in this world which are filtered through the ego and the mind contaminated by arrogance and anger and greed and lust and illusion. But these same emotions in their absolute perfections exist between the Lord and his devotees. Where anger and chastisement is something very beautiful. Raghunath Das Goswami writes that he's quoting Krishna that more than hearing the praises of the priests and the pundits who are perfectly chanting scriptural prayers and glorification of the Lord Krishna says I'm, I feel more satisfaction being chastised by the elderly gopis of Vrindavan. And even more satisfaction by the young gopis of Vrindavan. <laughs> Krishna explains how you know, he, in his different avatars, he killed Hiranyakashipu, Hiranyaksha, the most powerful demons in all of creation's history were creating such disturbance. And the Lord, uh, he did away with Agasura and Putana and Pralamb, I mean, <coughs> Vatsasura and Kamsa. But he finds millions of times more happiness being defeated in wrestling by little cowherd boys. This is the nature of the intimacy of spiritual love. You see, because these types of relationships in this world cause pain, they cause pain because love is so easily betrayed in this world, and that hurts our hearts so much. Or if it's not exactly suddenly betrayed, it just kind of wears off. <laughs> the thrill is gone, and it's just like, what are we doing with each other? We get tired of it, look for something new. Or even if it lasts pretty well, inevitably, somebody's going to die. So let's not worry about this love stuff because it's just too painful. Let's just try to find peace and extinguish all desires. But we find beyond that realization is perfect spiritual love. 
where there is unlimited variegatedness. So Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda, they appeared within this world to give that the highest revelations of love in the spiritual world. Through the of God's names. Now Lord Chaitanya, we read, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahi Anya. But Mahaprabhu is Radha and Krishna in one form. Krishna takes on the emotions and the complexion of Sri Radha, the feminine aspect of the Absolute Truth. And in Lord Chaitanya's Leela we find sometimes he assumes directly the role of Krishna when he sits on the throne in the house of Srivas and he accepts worship of his devotees. Or sometimes he actually manifests his form of Krishna to, the, to, to intimate associates. At other times, he was immersed in the feelings of Srimati Radharani. Tasting the sweetness of the ecstasy of her love for Krishna. But something else, please hear carefully. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted the mood of Sri Radha, not only did he taste the highest pleasure of her love, something that he could not even fathom without taking this form. But as Srimati Radharani, the loving mother of all living beings, he was expressing her compassion to all living beings. Sri Radha's all forgiving motherly love for the fallen souls who had forsaken her, betrayed her since time immemorial. But as the Supreme Mother, she may not be pleased with us. But whoever we are, whatever we've done, her love always remains the same. It's infinite. It's inexhaustible. It's unlimited. And seeing the conditioned souls in this world bereft of their natural spiritual happiness broke her heart. This breaking of heart is not like the breaking of hearts in this world. Breaking hearts in this world is frustration due to something that we may not be able to control, but it's just happened to us due to attachment. But her broken heart is an expression of her love, for uh, her, her desire for every living being to be happy. Sri Radha wants to see every living being again with Krishna. And this was Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mood. And he expressed his mood of, of Radharani's compassionate side most openly to Lord Nityananda Prabhu. Nityananda Prabhu was appeared on this day, 13th day of the waxing moon in the month of Magh. 
in Eka Chakra. There was a massive drought in the whole area. But as soon as Nitai came out from the womb of Padmavati, as the son of Hadai Pandit, there was beautiful rains. And instantly, crops and flowers and fruits and grains started growing abundantly. And he was so beautiful and so kind. Nobody knew who he was, that he was Balaram himself. He was God. <laughs> but he hid. He hid his opulences just so that he could enjoy and be enjoyed intimately by his devotees. When he would sit on somebody's lap, he had a beautiful golden complexion and his limbs were so soft. He is described like a little puppet made out of butter. 